Hey everyone, this is Angga Rizky from Indonesia and welcome back to my video in YouTube. Today we are going to learn how to create an animation for the website design. Basically, I only introduce to you this website, sorry, this framework that, that help you to create an animation. Alright, so I show you something here. This is names is anim.js anim maybe no no it's not from japanese cartoon which is anime this is anim okay so you can visit anim.js.com Ooh, very nice okay so there's documentation code open and github okay so this is the github from julia Julian Garnier, thank you very much to do this library or the framework and this is the documentation that we are working on so okay basically I have downloaded the library so currently I will use my sublime text editor so this is from the anim master cool well, in this case, we're going to create a new HTML. So this is for the YouTube, Anga YouTube.html. And we are stuck to the basic HTML5. So this is Anga's enim. Yes. Okay. And after that, if we are read the documentation, there's the manual installation, or you can also using the Node Package Manager. But in this case, I haven't installed my Node Package Manager. Well, I'm going to use manual. Just download below here, and you just need to include the script.anim.min.js to do the load JavaScript. You can put it in the below before body uh, close body tags. Okay. So after that, I will uh, I will try to create one animation of of them. So basically, in the documentation, there's a target and properties and properties with the parameters and function and so on so in this case you can learn about the target basically you can select the object by the css selector which is class or id so in this case this is the id and this is with the point or dot this is a class cool or you can also use the dom uh, from the jquery sorry uh, from the javascript dom and this is not list and which is the object and a lot so you can buy array very nice well to make it more easy as a beginner i prefer like to use the css selector so what i do here i'm going to create a div with a class is object saya saya is like my I mine and whatever so in the object saya I will create the style here to design my object so I'm going to create my new properties here for the object saya with the width is 100 pixel and height is 100 pixel and the background color I'm going to select Right color and then we're going to open in the browser so this is the design yeah basically I want to wrapping this object saya with one wrapper div so div class is wrapper and inside of the wrapper that I will provide my object saya okay and in the wrapper, we can set width is 80% with the overflow hidden and the padding is 200 pixel 
and margin auto we save it and it should be here okay now in this case i'm going to reset reset i'm going to change this uh, rectangle to the circle like the example that provide here so in the properties that you can transform and you can also reset the diff okay let's do this so hmm, in the here we have to define sorry we have to write a script here with their uh, with their properties so basically if you want to do the example such, such as like this you only need to copy paste and then you paste below here okay but in this case this is the function right the variable names so it should be recepts okay recept and this is your targets so the target is object saya with the dot so because this is a class so you have to use dot but if you are using the id then you are using hashtag okay i don't want to this opacity and it should be right because it's moving to the right and background color should be blue sorry green color and the border radius that i will use pixel instead use the em so we try okay it works but i want to make a function or an event that when i click the button it should be changed so it's not automatically so you have to click on a button first and then the rectangle should be changed so here we provide the button right reset that okay and in the button that i will make some styling here with the background is blue color oops and margin top okay and border radius 3 pixel and border 0 mm, I think 100 and font size should be 18 and the color should be white the font color I mean oh it's too big so I think I can increase the width okay and margin top is 120 okay so when i click this button the rectangle should be changed it's not main it's not automatically it should be manually so what i do here this uh event of javascript to click which is button on click so i'm gonna wrapping this reset this enim i will cut like this and we are creating a function here reset Okay, so inside of the reset function that we provide the library to change the animation. So in this button that we provide an event which is on click, so reset semicolon. So we try, we click here, and it changes. Nice. And after that, I'm going to move that uh, object to the right but first of all i'm going to setting the position to the absolute and in this we are adding a new properties which is right sorry okay it works nice right yeah but we have the problem with the button so here i think i can set the margin button uh, sorry it doesn't work because the status of this object saya is position absolute so the button should be position relative 
with the bottom no. so it should be 100 as 1000 mm, hold on okay it doesn't working I'm going to remove <laughs> I'm sorry okay uh, actually I want to add a new margin here for this reset but it's okay for at the moment yeah so basically this is pretty simple right we can also do this with the uh, other library for the animation okay and here I'm curious that there's a lot menu which is the easings so I think basically it's like the transition right so something like this so you can also uh, define the elements one by one maybe later on we will study about these components but here we are going to use these easings instead we are using the basic easy on and quad so we have to change this and this is a custom so we can try so I'm going so pretty nice right and I want to change this oh so actually I don't familiar with those numbers but once I understand I will tell you what those numbers means okay pretty nice yeah so this is the anim.js that help you to create an animation i know that this, this is only basic but i hope in the next video that we can export a more about this library because it was really helpful in the website design so thank you very much for watching and don't forget to appreciate this video by like comment and share with your friends nice to meet you from indonesia Goodbye.